Hey everybody. Um, tomorrow's March 1st. Uh, I'm James from Derby City Poop Scoop. Sorry, I do phone parties as well, same name. Um, yeah, I, you know, we're in Louisville, Kentucky here. You know, um, people's asking me like, hey, what is your numbers? And uh, how many are you up to? And I'm like, I don't know. Um, you know, we've lost a few, but the last time I looked, we were somewhere around 40 or 45 signups for this month. And I want to say right around the same for January. Um, we're in our busy time right now. It's cold. It's warm. We just had a thing where it was warm over the weekend. And then I guess everybody got in their yards because I think we had, between Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, we had eight different people request and sign up. Um, it was like, boom, 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 boom. My, my office man, admin's like, are you running an ad or something? I said, no, it's just it got warm and then it got cold again. And, and everybody's like, oh, I need to go clean this yard up. Like, um, So, yeah, we're, you know, we're in we're March. We'll have probably about the same. And then April, it'll start kind of dying down for us around here. Um, uh, you know, I want to talk about the roller coaster ride. I mean, this is the way it is. I mean, you know, there's going to be some weeks that are better than others. There's going to be, you know... Um, oh, a couple summers ago, it seemed like every other day somebody was losing a dog. Um, we give out little, we got cards that we send out that have little seed packets that they can plant in the memory of them. Um, I found them online. They're, I mean, they're like a dollar a piece. We buy them 50 or 100 at a time. and Like, we burn through them left and right. We mail them out to every time a dog passes. You know, um, I, you know, it breaks our heart that a dog passes, but we, you know, you have a 14 year old lab you know a 12 year old boxer you know a 10 year old uh, great dane you know unfortunately you know uh we're here for their entire life you know so and this we we were their entire not we as me or my company but you know it just unfortunately it's the cruel fate of the world that we all know that we will outlive our our pets, you know, our, our family members like that, our pet family, our four-legged family members. Um, so that's always something I always say. If you want to know where I get them from, send me a message or info at derbycitypoopscoop.com and just ask uh, Manita at the office. She'll give you the link. And there's all kinds of them. It's for veterinaries and all that stuff that they can send out condolence cards and welcome cards. And it's a whole magazine. Um, but yeah, so the winter highs, winter lows, I mean, dogs pass away. We get people to sign up. We get some people that, you know, they say we're sliding into a recession. I, I don't really know. Um, the good thing is from what I found out from, we've been around seven years, so I didn't get to see the last recession in 08, 09. From talking to people around that, they're like, mm, you know, it, the business dropped a little bit, but it sustained itself. Uh, I was around for COVID. We lost a handful but, you know, and it was the people that, you know, lost their job. They were laid off. They had to tighten budgets. Of course, we're first ones to be gone. And so that's the thing you got to understand is, you know, we're a luxury service. We're a valet service, you know, for the dogs. And, you know, it's things get tight, even though that 60, 70, 80 bucks isn't really a whole lot on the grand scheme of things. But it's one thing that they're like, OK, well, it's cut back. And, and the unfortunate side is, and I hate doing this, but. You know, if they stop for more than two or three weeks, I have to charge them an initial again because I'm basically going what they have not picked up and doing a brand new start. And I explain to them all, you know, I we try to bargain with them and say, hey, look, you know, why don't we go to every other week? You know, and this will be the price. It'll save you some money. And, you know, sometimes they just want to completely put it on pause. But I explain to them, you know, okay, but I understand after week number three, if you come back, like we have to charge an initial. I can let it slide for one or two weeks, but I can't let it slide that, you know, for a month. Um, you're going to get weeks that are good, weeks that are bad. You know, we sat there two weeks ago and didn't have an entire call come in. I'm like, how do we have so many, but nothing came in? And then, boom, light switch happened and they came in. And, uh, and then the other thing, sorry, it's late at night here. I'm fixed to go to the house. The other thing is, is what you're going to realize in this poop scoop type business is you have people that just want winter. You have people that just want summer. That's the way it is. The winter people will cancel when it gets warm because they're out in their yards every day. They're picking them up. And then there's people that just want summer because they've got kids and they're busy and they're just doing everything. And they're, you know, they just don't have time to do it. Um, and then you have your people who are loyal, who, you know, they want it year round. They, you know, we always tell them, so our price for, 
Okay. Our price for a one-time service is literally equal to us coming out four times and scooping. Um, and I do that for a reason. And I, and I tell you, I think this helps me out a lot. We just sold another one the other day. We called them to see if they want to continue going. They're like, yeah, we got used to it. We want to keep you. So, and that's, I sell it like that for a reason. Uh, because I want you to try us out. I don't want you to have the one time and then you forget about us three, four months. And then we're back cleaning it up. And, oh, sorry. I don't know why I'm so tired. It's only nine o'clock. But, PM. Um, so that's something to think about is your one-time prices. I know some people come in, they, they do them dirt cheap, thinking they can convert the customer. And really the customer is thinking, okay, well, if I just do this, you know, once a month for this one time, like that's going to be way less than what coming out every week is. But what it's hurting is when you get to the scale, you know, we're over 1,100 yards a week that we're doing. Like, we don't have time. You know, my guys have got to hit four to five stops an hour if they want to get done for the day. You know, the routing is tight. You know, they'll go out and do 30, 30, 35 stops. Some of them have 40. And they'll do them in an eight-hour shift and only drive 10 miles. They just, the route density is there. So, um, I know I've mentored some people, and some other people might see this that I've talked to. And, you know, when you're doing your pricing, I believe in, if you do it as a monthly, people see that number. They're like, oh, man, that's a lot. You know, we do per week, and it's good, and it's got its pluses and its downs. The downs is, you know, back January 15th, we lost an entire week because it completely snowed and iced over. We have a three-day rule, and we go back. Well, guess what happened on day number three? It snowed again. So, yeah, that didn't do us any good. Um, so that hurts us because we didn't bill anybody for it. Now, after that third day, we could have went out there and started scooping and started billing again. But we had snow, which is, doesn't happen a lot. I don't know why I'm tired, guys. I'm sorry. Um, I'm just making a quick rant to throw something up there for somebody new to see. Um, yeah, so, you know, with your pricing, I say keep it on a weekly. Um, if you do it monthly... Uh, fee, if that's what you're doing is a monthly price, make sure it's written in your service agreement that, you know, that if they skip, you skip, weather skip, rain skip, whatever, you know, it's non-refundable. Um, because the next week, the two, two weeks worth of poop's going to be there. So you're going to have the added time. So I rather my scoopers go out every week and get that yard versus that one time where they do one. And then two months later, we come back and we, we clean the yard back up and my guys out there for 45 minutes or an hour it, it can get to your it can get on your back a little bit you know it's a little wearing um so yeah the ups and downs of the winter summer i hear down south it pretty stay it stays steady because of the weather um up north where it snows a lot <sighs> they're gonna be going uh like uh, if you used to talk to erica Crouppen, um jessica up there in ontario they're going into uh, what they call spring clean season, where they go out with buckets and, you know, it hasn't been picked up in six months. And it, it can get bad. It's good money, but it can get bad quick. Um, they bring on extra people to help them. <coughs> but if you have questions, you know, feel, feel free to reach out. Info at Derby City. DerbyCityPoopScoop.com. Info at DerbyCityPoopScoop.com. Keep it on to say PhonePartiesCom If you're interested in phone parties or, you know, find out what I'm doing. If you followed me and you see my pages and stuff like that, um, I got in the phone last year with Phone Daddy. Uh, get with me. Uh, we're doing newbie calls. Um, i love to talk to you about it and give you the ins and outs. Uh, you know, well, you got to be a kid lover and you got to love to get wet. So that's the consistence of the phone. You know, it's, it's a break from the, the poop scoop stuff, you know, so. All right, anybody has any questions, feel free, to give me an email. Uh, you can find me on Facebook, sometimes. Um, I don't know this camera do, but yeah, so. All right, have a good night.